guys welcome to the video um, today we're going to go and do the video on how to modify a carburetor that's supposed to fit your tractor and kind of doesn't so before I get started I gotta do a little bit of preaching um, stay away from the those those, uh, those aftermarket ones on on eBay especially if and I say this because it's I mean, this is where this one came from, is eBay, and it don't fit the 601. It says it's supposed to fit the 601, but it don't fit it. The bolts don't line up. The, the studs didn't line up. So, that's why I'm doing this video, is to show you how to make it work. But, I said, just stay away from them. Um, go somewhere like Steiner. Yeah, they might be a little more expensive, but go to Steiner, or... Um, Yesterday Ag, Allstate Ag, I don't know if, if it's four guys, I know there's good pages for, that do the people that deal in specifically for Ford. Anyways guys, like I was saying, just, just kind of stay away from this kind of things. Don't, don't buy them. Then you don't have to watch this video. <laughs> you won't need this video because you went and got the right card. So, for those guys that I, I know you're watching this video because you need to know how to do this, I apologize to you guys. I don't mean to make you feel like, feel bad. I'm not attacking you. I'm just, just our, our fellow, our fellow mechanics, ag mechanics that work on these old tractors. I'm just, I'm warning them to stay away from these things. You, you can contest that. You're watching this video because you need to learn how to know how to do fix this thing where it'll work because you spent 300 and some odd bucks on something that doesn't fit. So, to get to that, guys, first thing I would do is the first thing you need to do. Well, there's two options. Let's just talk options first. There's two options. First option with this thing is take these four, four screws out, pull this one off. Take the four bolts out of your card, take it off, clean your your old top as clean as you can get it, or cleaner, and you just bolt it on. Just take these four bolts here out, or the screws out, or bolts out, take this off, pull all the parts that you can out of this thing, and then if it'll fit on your 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 new your old or the your old bot top will fit on the new body, put it on the new body, and bolt it up and go. Uh, if that's not the case, then you need to do what I'm going to show you today, and I don't like doing, but you're going to need a drill bit slightly bigger than the, than the uh, stud, the hole for the stud. And because you're going to take, and you got to drill out the back hole on the top, on that flange. Because you gotta slide the bolt, get a bolt slid, and the bolt slid up and in, in and up through here, through this through this hole. So before you get to do, to do that, you need some of this, some masking tape. Because why well, I try to find the end, I'll tell you about. Because you need come on end. Alright. You need to take this tape and you need to take a piece or so I'm trying to do this sitting in front of the camera in my office here take some of this tape and you need to tape this hole off get another piece you need to tape off the throat here And then you need to go to work, tape it off like so. Then you need to take the tape again, and you need to tape across here because you're going to have metal shavings everywhere. And that's what just happens. You just they go everywhere. So we're going to do that real quick. I'm just going to take a few more pieces. Sorry, guys. But like I say, guys, just. You gotta tape these all off, and then here in a second, I'll we'll go over to my uncle's shop, and we'll either show you how I how to do this with either if you're lucky like I do. I think I, have, I don't know if Uncle Craig has 
a uh, well, like I said, guys, you take that that end off, the throat here off. You take this drill bit here, and you just bore that out, and you just slowly you bore that hole here. So you just take this and you just hit it right here, and you drill that out. And you, like I said, you got to drill out the one on the back because you got to get a bolt worked up in there. So you want to leave this stud, and if this is the stud that comes out, work on getting that stud off, and because you got to have that stud as a stud, and then yeah, so you just drill this here out, and I'll, I'll like I said, I'll go over here in a little bit, and we'll go to the farm and use some of Uncle Craig's tools, and we'll go and I'll show you how to bore that out. So. Next time you'll see me, we'll be at the farm. So guys, here we are, we're over the farm. I got you all set up where you can see what's going on here. So, uh, I'm not sure here. I don't think it'd be too bad. I'm going to turn this thing on. I'm going to show you how to drill this out. And then, from there, can you see, no, you can't see what I'm doing. There, see if I can do it that way. I'm trying to see to make sure you can see what I'm doing. So right here, guys, we're going to turn this thing on, take this drill bit, and you slowly turn it down. I think that's enough to give you the idea of what needs to be done. So, next time you see me, I will be in front of the camera. Alright guys, so, we're back to the office. Um, I showed you how, gave you an idea how to, to start drilling that out. So, um, to finish this video guys, mainly want to say thanks for all the comments. I, I enjoyed learning about what tractors and stuff you guys had with well, your first tractors to drive or buy or or the first ones for you've gotten for a holiday on a holiday um um wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the, about my my question I, I'm kind of wanting to try to create a little bit of a kind of a little community type thing going on in there conversation community kind of conversation in the in there um and i do like i said i do enjoy reading your comments about i got my first tractor was an oliver or an alice or a ford or an international uh a case so on and so forth um so I have another question for you guys today. Today's question, my question is to, for this week or this video, for this week, is what tractor would you love to have in your collection if money wasn't an issue, or space, uh, space or, or money both. So, other than that, guys, leave your comment on that and thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you next week. Bye.